Yeah, I found me a good way to check the output of this old CB. It's a 4 watt Radio Shack 40 channel. I got the microphone blocked off right now because I just want to test the static output of this. If you put volume into this, any sound, it kicks the voltage up and the current so I just want to test this thing as it's sitting but a good way of doing that here's your output I'm going through a single MUR120 diode this is the power input 12 volts this is the output it uses an RCA type jack on this one This is a 120 volt 7 watt bulb kicking out I'm guessing around 3 3 watts this is a single you keep it on and this gets worn not bad I suggest do not put your fingers across this while this is running in the transmit because I've done it already I've got burn marks radiation burn marks well what it does you more or less start shorting out the diode across the leads and that 28 it's notice about 23 megahertz with the load on it. It will jump across your finger fingers and you will get a little burn out of it. So I've got it heavily grounded. Got two big ground wires on here. I like grounds. It gets a little brighter. So I this here is the hot input off of this side. So I thought I would show that in case you're wondering how can you test the output of your C B. Let's say uh you know that's about three four watts. Twenty three megahertz with the load. Twenty seven megahertz output on this. Now I can drop the channel down and for some reason it also drops down the output. But you can tune it to an extent just by the uh, channel selector. That's good and warm I would say but it's not bad. So that's one way of testing your CB. 23 megahertz, 24 megahertz output, 4 watts. I believe that is 90 volts coming out of this. Like I said, if you put sound into this, they do get brighter. So that's one way of testing your CB.